This is part two of our series on multi-form programs, and we're going to look at how we can share information between the different forms. Before we get into that, let's just understand how we can access control the variables, what variables we have access to, which we don't. Now, at the top of the program, you'll notice that there's a private, there's a public and a protected area. Um, sometimes you don't even see the protected part. You just see the private and the public. So what do, what do they mean? So just give a brief understanding of this so that you understand when we go to the video where we must declare particular variables. So for example, if I declare a variable over here under private, so this integer called unnum we declare in here, please take note that this is only visible within the class that declares them. So this, this unit is the only one who can access unnum. You won't be able to access it from other units, even if they've got a relationship, even though they've, they can use each other, only this unit can use unnum. Okay. So what happens if we declare, for example, a string under public, like stemp over here? Well, in this case, it's visible to all other classes. So it can be used in this unit as well as any other unit that is using this particular unit. So that, therefore, public is it's available for everyone to use. And what about protected? Well, we don't often see protected, but if you want to use protected, like this real variable called R value, in this case, if it's protected, it's visible within the class and to all subclasses, but not, not to anyone else. So that's a way that we can, it's almost like in between private and public. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's move on to our main program. Now, if you remember from our previous video, we had a blue form, which looks like this, and I've added a couple, I've added some more buttons, and I've added some, um, some information here, enter your name and so on. So there's a little few new features to it, but if you remember briefly, we what we did was in the program, right at the top of it, we added the yellow form, which you can see we've added over here. We've added that we can access it. And there's the private and public we we're talking about. And then we said that that yellow form dot show now. It's not visible there, but we're going to open up the yellow form. I'm going to double click here so we can see what the yellow form looks like. We've also added a few new things to this. So yeah, we've got our yellow form. And this form, if you remember correctly, it cannot use unit one because there's unit one. But we did say, hey, yeah, at the bottom under implementation, we says uses unit one. And I've got a little button which shows our main form and hides the yellow form. So we can access the main form because we use unit one over here. And on this form over here under next, we can use the yellow form and show it because we can access now. It's, it's highlighted in yellow, but if I run, you'll see it actually says, you know, we actually okay. So if I click on next, we can open the yellow. And if I click on go back, close the yellow and we back at next. Okay, so we did that in the previous video. Now, what happens if I want to share information between the different uh, places? So, for example, let's say I've got this edit box here, edit username. Now, I can say, hey, when I click on go next, okay, so let's go, we're going to go to the yellow form. If I'm in the yellow form over here and I want to get the user, okay, so I want to actually show who the user is. Now, the user entered in their username in for, in the main form. So can I access it? Well, I can say frm main dot e. You see, I've got access to that edit edit control. Well, that then I can say dot text. I can actually show the user over here, not test text. So I can go get the text property of the username that's from the the main form, even though I'm on the yellow form. I can go fetch it and display it. So let's see how that works. So I'm going to run it now. So the first thing I'm going to do is say, hello, uh, username is Mr. Long. And then I'm going to click on next. Now I'm at my second form. Now if I say get user, it can say Mr. Long because it, although there's no Mr. Long on here, it's went and fetched it from the other form. Now that's one way of doing it. The other way is to actually store it in global variables. That's pr preferable whenever we're doing that. So I'm going to show you about... When we, before we show, we're going to make a global variable. Now, remember private and that and public. I'm going to go and say, okay, let's make a S user variable of type string. Okay, everyone see that? So it's under public. And if you remember, public can be used by this unit and every other unit that uses it. So before I go to the next form, I'm going to say, hey, let's just record the user from this edit con Control username dot text. I'm storing it in the global variable s user that's public. So now when I go to the yellow form, I'm not going to show frm main. I'm going to show frm and do I have access to that variable s? There it is. It's s user. So it's exactly the same. I've just made it in a global variable. So it works exactly the same. I can say Mr. Long. I'll make a different Mr. Long's and go next. 
Now, when I click on get user, it displays whatever that variable is and it works. Now, just to show you what that private does, if I went over here on the unit one and I said, you know what, this variable, all I'm going to do is I'm going to make it private, which means only this unit can use it. If I move to the yellow form, you'll see there's an error now. It doesn't recognize S user because it doesn't have access to it. So if you're going to declare variables, make sure with that used by other units, make sure that you make them public. Okay, so that's a little trick on that side. Now, what happens if I'm on this side and I want to get a value on the other side? So on this unit, we're not going to use any edit controls. I'm just going to go at the top and make a public variable. Again, S temp of top string and we could say over here whenever we have this button when we say um, go back we can actually set s user or do something at, at any time even if we go yeah, maybe we want to even change s user we can actually from this side let's do that so when we click on get user we over here we can access s user we can actually even change frm main dot user is equal not you oh, user right user s user is equal to temp so i'm actually going to give it a completely change s user from this side we're going to show it but we're going to change it after we've shown it um, we actually even don't need that anymore and then on this side when i say get temp i'm actually going to say okay just display my s user variable and you'll see in this case that it would have changed okay so there we go so now it's changed so boom let's run that so i'm gonna say hello is the username and go next and now when i come over here to get user you can say it says hello but it's changed it now to something else okay now if i go back and now if I use get temp to go display that, you see it's now changed to temp. Okay, so we've changed it. And if I have this in the yellow form, this variable here is temp, I also want to change s temp to something. S temp is testing one, two, three. Then on this side, if I want to be able to access that variable in the get temp, I can also show message instead of s user we're going to display s temp but it doesn't recognize f temp because s temp is in this unit so we're going to say in frm yellow dot s temp and then we've got access to that variable if i said s temp dot s temp there we go we've got access to it and that's because we are using the yellow form at the top and on this side we are using it over here to trans or to send information back and forth let's run it one last time Boom. so we're going to say goodbye and we go next so if we get user it says goodbye okay but now if you remember the code was now setting s temp to i like you've forgotten what it was but we can go back and we can get temp and we set it to testing one two three there we go so there we go we are accessing the variable that testing one two three is we are in the blue form and we are accessing the yellow forms s temp variable so that's how we can get information going back and forth between different forms for more videos in this video series on multiforms, click on our subscribe button at our YouTube channel, like our videos, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.